Have you ever wondered who are the pioneers of chemical engineering? Do you have any interest in chemistry or engineering? Well then, this video is just for you. We will be listing down 5 of the most known and influential figures of chemical engineering. By the end of this video, you will have a good idea about the history of this principle. Let's get started with George Edward Davis. George Edward Davis is the widely known father of chemical engineering. He is the author of the influential book A Handbook of Chemical Engineering and has justified that chemical engineering should be a separate discipline through a series of lectures at the University of Manchester Institute of Science and Technology. He was born on 27th of July 1850 in England and started working first at a bookbinder but then abandoned it to pursue his love for chemistry. He worked as a chemist at Davis Brearley and Sons for three years. He also worked as an auditor for the Alkali Act of 1863. This law can be counted as one of the oldest environmental regulations as it requires the reduction of gaseous hydrochloric acid that soda producers emit from their factories to the atmosphere. He started a job as a manager at Litchfield Chemical Company in Staffordshire in 1872. While working in this business, his ability to innovate developed. One of his works was to build the largest chimney in the UK at that time with a height of 61 meters. Davis also helped found the Society of Chemical Industry. Davis wanted the association to be named the Chemical Engineering Association and was the first secretary of this association. He was also interested in conducting microscopic studies and in 1881 he began publishing the journal Northern Microscopist. He has written a textbook called Practical Microscopy. Most of his innovations and processes arise from his intense disgust with the methods of manufacture which polluted the air, rivers, and water courses and wasted good land for tips. Davis stressed that many of the skills, processes and principles using chemical engineering are common to a broad swath of industrial applications. Davis was also one of the pioneers that focused on sustainability. 2. Arthur D. Little Arthur D. Little is also known as the American father of chemical engineers, was born in Boston, US, in 1863. In 1881, Little enrolled at MIT to study chemistry. Little was far ahead of his time in knowing the importance of long-term industrial research. He founded Arthur D. Little in 1886, which was the world's first provider of management consulting services. From the start, Little's passion for investigations for the improvement of process and the perfection of products drove the company coupled with his strong belief that scientific developments would reinforce the industrial expansions and turn companies into corporate success stories. As chairman of the visiting committee of the Department of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering at MIT, he was accountable for the introduction of the Chemical Engineering Practice School. He is attributed with introducing the therm unit operations to chemical engineering and endorsing the concept of industrial research. He also developed the concept of unit operations and used it to define the role of chemical engineering and explain industrial chemical processes. Little is also known as the inventor of acetate. 
3. Carl Bosch Carl Bosch was a pioneer of industrial chemistry and the founder of IG Farben, one of the largest chemical companies in the world. Born in Germany in 1874, his uncle was the famous founder of the multinational engineering company Bosch. Carl Bosch attended the University of Leipzig and he acquired his doctorate in 1898 for research in organic chemistry. Later on, he left in 1899 and took an entry-level job at BASF, at that time Germany's biggest chemical and dye firm. From 1909 until 1913, he changed Fritz Haber's tabletop demonstration of a technique to fix nitrogen, utilizing high-pressure chemistry through the Haber-Bosch process to deliver manufactured nitrate, a cycle that has innumerable modern applications for making a close boundless variety of industrial compounds, consumer goods and commercial products. It acquires nitrogen from the air and converts it to ammonia. This process made it possible to produce synthetic fertilizers and thus produce enough food for the world's increasing population. Although the Haber-Bosch process is contributory in feeding about a third of the world's population today, it consumes a little more than 1% of the total energy produced on Earth. On average, half of the nitrogen in a human body is synthetic. Without the process, we would be producing only two-thirds of the total amount of food we produce these days. Members of the Institution of Chemical Engineers have voted Carl Bosch and Fritz Haber as the world's most influential chemical engineers of all time. In 1931, he was awarded the Nobel Prize of Chemistry for the introduction of high-pressure chemistry. 4. Mukesh Ambani Mukesh Ambani is an Indian businessman with a network worth of 85 billion US dollars, making him the richest person in Asia. Born in Aden, Yemen in 1957, he is the chairman of the petrochemical firm Reliance Industries. Ambani and his two younger siblings took over the management of Reliance founded by their father Dirubai Ambani. Reliance owns businesses across India engaged in energy, petrochemicals, textiles, natural resources, retail and telecommunications. His career began all thanks to his studies in chemical engineering and tenacity. Ambani studied chemical engineering at the University of Bombay and later graduated from Stanford Business School in the USA. He started working at Reliance in 1981 and took over the chairmanship of the company's board after his father's death in 2002. He has been on the Forbes magazine's list of the world's richest since 2007. He has a lot of board memberships and has been awarded many times throughout the years by various organizations. He is indeed the most influential figure of the success in the chemical engineering field in the 21st century. 5. Margaret Hutchinson Russo Hutchinson was born in 1910 in Houston, Texas, the daughter of a clothing store owner. She received her undergraduate degree from Rice University in 1932 and completed her doctorate in chemical engineering at MIT in 1937. Thus, she became the first woman to receive a doctorate in this field in the USA. The subject of her doctoral thesis was the effect of solute on the liquid film resistance in gas absorption. 
On 1st of May 1939, she married William Cabu Russo, her colleague at E.B. Badger and Sons. Later, William became a lecturer in the chemical engineering program at MIT. Hutchinson started her professional career at the E.B. Badger Company in Boston. She participated in design projects of factories that would produce strategically important penicillin and synthetic rubber during World War II. Improving deep tank fermentation of penicillin yeast made penicillin suitable for mass production. She worked on the development of high-octane aviation fuel. Later in her career, she designed factories producing ethylene glycol and acetic acid and an upgraded distillation column. In 1945, Hutchinson became the first woman to be admitted to the American Institute of Chemical Engineers. In 1955, she received the Achievement Award of the Women Engineers Association. She became the first woman to receive the prestigious founding award of the American Institute of Chemical Engineers in 1983. Hutchinson retired in 1961 and became an audience for the Boston Symphony Orchestra in retirement. After hearing the stories of five pioneers of chemical engineering, who became your favorite one? Comment down below stating the reason too. Hope this video was beneficial. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Have a nice day.